Hey there, this is Nils Bielfeld and today we are making a leather bee. As always, we start with printing and cutting out the pattern, transfer it onto the leather and cut out that too. For this project I'm using 6 ounce or 2.5 mm batch tan leather. Next we want to punch some round and sewing holes. Next we want to bevel the edges to round them already a little bit and prepare them later on for burnishing. Now we want to moisten the pieces from both sides to prepare them for embossing. To give the leather overall some texture I use this old shoemaker tool which leaves a nice imprint. This works very well with an airbrush because the darker dye that we will use later on will sit into these deep areas. I put these on all the pieces and add some basic stamps for a little bit more character. For dyeing I use two coats of yellow as a base coat to achieve the color that I want. And then I go along the edges with a dark chocolate brown. The wings I paint with acrylic paint in white, but I don't want to cover everything. I'm looking for a roughly most white, but a little bit dirty look. As a finish, I apply a resist on all the pieces. If you put it on the edges, you also can use the moisture to burnish them. Only for the wings I use some antique gel to get the desired dirty look. Simply apply it and wipe away carefully the excess. To secure the antique gel I carefully apply another coat of resist. All the pieces apart from the wings we want to moisten again and the rest of the process will continue with the pieces slightly moistened. Give them a little bit of time and then you can start to shape them roughly into their shape and then, while still moist, sew them. For the legs you also want to sew in uh, about 2mm thick soft wire.
We got quite some pieces for the bee, so let me walk you through. We got the bottom abdomen pieces. We got the top abdomen pieces. We got two identical waist pieces. And we got three chest pieces for the bottom and three chest pieces for the top with the wings, as well as one face. The order of sewing the different pieces together can be a little bit confusing. The top pieces will be always layered over the bottom pieces and here we start from the sting. And we sew the sting onto the first bottom piece. And when you now look closely, we go from the inside out through the bottom piece first, then we go to the new bottom piece, then through the already existing top piece, and then add the new top piece. And from the outside we go all the way, we came back to the inside and then tighten it. So again, we start going through the already existing bottom piece, then add the new bottom piece, go through the existing top piece and then add the new top piece. And then follow from the outside the way we just came to the inside with the other needle and tighten it. And this is what you keep doing with just three exceptions. Here we got our first exceptions with the waist. This time we start going through the new bottom piece, then through the existing bottom piece, through the new top piece and then through the existing top piece. The next layer, which is the first piece of the chest, is just the same as before, as well as the next chest piece. And when the wings are on, we got our next two exceptions. The next piece, as with the waist, we want to add first, then go through the bottom existing layer, then add the new top layer and then go through the existing top layer. Now, as last piece, we add the face and there we also go through the face first, then through the existing layer, but not through the bottom layers in this case. We just go up and down from the top layer through the new face layer to sew it on. When the bee looks like this now, half opened, we can put the legs through the layers of the waist and the two following chest pieces. Just put them through the different layers and they will hold there on their own. Looks like a heavily damaged insect to me, but this is exactly where we want to be. Sewing together the other side of the bee is very much the same. Just make sure that you also sew in the legs between the layers and on the face. This time you don't want to sew on the upper part of the face but the lower part. Which is just logical since this is the only part that is not sewn on in the end. I know this sounds quite a little bit confusing and I actually had to redo some of the sewing myself. So chances are you have to do it too. But don't worry, there's a little schema on the manual that shows you exactly in which order you sew through which layers. When you've sewn everything together, just bend the legs into the right position and you're done. 
quick note, the loops on the chest and abdomen part are just for attachment, so if you want them or not, this is up to you. This bee has quite some movement and I really like it for that. Maybe I will use it as a LARP dagger. This pattern also works on cupboard and it's quite a bit easier to sew it together. So I hope you enjoyed this video, check out this pattern on my store as well as all the other tutorials I got and see you guys next time. Have a great day!